So it's live lounge month at BBC Radio 1 and we are most certainly not in the UK at the moment. In fact, we are in LA at this guy's house. Here we are. Yes, Viva. Shall we do this? We should do it. Let's, let's go. Do, let's go. So, Justin, here we are. Thank yeah. you very much for having me in your home. No worries. Now, I need to ask you, first things first, do you actually get to spend any time here? Because I know you're very busy. When, I'm, uh, when I have time off, yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Usually, yeah. So what do you do on your days to chill? What oh. is a typical chilling day? Um, go in the pool. Mm -hmm. I got this awesome water slide. There's a lot of fish in here, so I go bass fishing. OK. Can I have a this, little look? Yeah, let's go for a look. So this is a little pontoon boat. Cool. So you say you go Duffy. fishing. Do you, um, do you give the fish to your chef to cook up? No, this is pretty dirty water. You don't want to eat this fish. OK, OK. Yeah. Merely for the sport. Yeah, for sure. And then I got these uh, little alligators online. Well, I guess not little, little but they? yeah, big alligators. <laughs> The one thing I've noticed about this house is even though it's massive, it's very welcoming. Mm -hmm. It's very... Um, it's, it's kind very of homey, homely. right? Yeah, it's really yeah. homely. Like, walking past your pool, which I'm sure we're going to check out in a For bit, sure. I had visions of, like, you know, your brothers and sisters hanging out by there, right, right. family and friends coming yeah. around, like, cookouts. All that. Is, that, is, that, is that a thing that happens often? For sure. For yeah? sure. I got a chef, and he's amazing. Cool. Cooks awesome food. Because they don't want you to have a chef. They don't want us to have a chef. But, but this, I, I go out on this pretty much every morning. Okay. I go rowing out there and just relax, listen to music. Right. Would you say you get a lot of inspiration when you're out here for science? I'd, I'd say so. These mountains are beautiful. I hike up to this, uh, that tree at the top. It's called Wisdom Tree. Okay. And I go up there and just sit. I, actually, I was there this morning and my sister was out here. And uh, I was hanging from the tree and I said, hey, can you see me? And I called her and she's like, I can't see you. You just look like a branch. So when it comes to writing songs like in this space, like where do you go? Are you sitting over there to write songs? Um, are you I like go out on this boat. Yeah? This boat. Mm -hmm. Uh, the rope actually got, if you see it right here, this rope got caught in the engine, so I'm waiting for someone to come and try to get this okay. out. But this is usually my favorite. So you, have you always got like a kind of pen and paper on you, or like a little dictaphone? Are you getting your phone out and just like recording lyrics and well, stuff? Well, my iPhone, I just okay. write down stuff or ideas, jot them Ooh. down or record them. Let's see. I now, don't really have like a, a certain way that I do it. You just, whenever the feeling hits you, you just go for it? For sure. When you first um, like moved in here, did you just do loads of laps around the uh, garden? I was like, like oh there's so God. much room to do activities. Yeah. <laughs> it's lit. It's so lit. Here, I got you something. It's for you. My gosh. Romance is alive. Look at this charming guy. OK, I need to talk about this thing. My sister wanted a water slide, so I said, all right, I'll get you a water okay. slide. OK, OK, real talk. Is it really for your sister's benefit, or was it more for you? No, it's for her. OK. Yeah, so it's she's, pretty cool still. Is this an everyday occurrence then? In the morning you have your breakfast, get on the slide? Or? I actually just got it yesterday. So. Just yesterday? Yeah. Okay. Well, if I'm allowed to later on, I'd love to have a go. Okay. Just, just putting it out there. Right. I heard you're a little bit competitive. I'm pretty when competitive, When it comes yeah. to your basketball. Now, you've got this uh, beam here. You've got your hoop over there. I heard mm -hmm. a rumor that you can actually... I go for the double beamer. Right. Over I, both of these beams. I was told he's very accurate. I'm pretty accurate. Okay. Should I grab a wall? I think you should. <laughs> Do you want a ball too? Yeah, go on then. All right. There's a game in the UK called netball. Yeah. Which is sort of like basketball, which I used to play, and but I wasn't what it, bad. What's the difference? Um, <laughs> I'm not sure what the massive differences are, but all I know is it's different. Okay. This is all I know. Go for it. Okay. Right. Am I gonna? Come uh, on. Ah! And you say you play basketball? Netball, not basketball. All right, well, netball is old. Is no. Okay. I've never even heard of netball. I need to send you some. First try. Whoa, bam! Just lucky. Just lucky. Yeah. Just lucky. I'm get, I gave that high five really begrudgingly. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go for the double bunker. Okay. All right. Here I go. Todd, wish me luck, all right? Wish me luck. Ah, no, that was ugly. Oh. That one. That one. The neighbor's gonna love that. So, what happens when that does happen? Oh. Oof. Um. 
So when, you know, your uh, basketballs do end up in your neighbor's garden, do yeah. they just they knock on the door politely and hand it over, or is it you going No, over? they usually just throw it over. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right. Yep, they're going to throw that one over. <laughs> right, let me try it one more time. Let me try and redeem myself. Oh! Okay, so I'm not as good as one at basketball as I thought I was going to be. It's all good. But it's all good. If you're patient, succeed. You want to play D? How do you play D? Just play defense. You just try to stop me going by you. Okay. So you go on this side. All right. So you're just going to try to steal the ball. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Oh! I know, I'll play D. Okay. Go, 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 shoot it. Right. Oh! Thank she you. did it. The champ is Thank here. You. The Thanks champ very is much. here. So, in a few hours, you are going to be doing your first proper live lounge for us. Will doing this performance be a bit of a full circle moment for you? Because, you know, obviously you started on YouTube, mm -hmm. everything was super acoustic. You got on to sell all these albums, you're doing these mm -hmm. big arena tours. So is it going to be nice just to kind of bring it back to basics for sure in this I mean, setting. it's like it feels like like you said i'm bringing it back to the basics and going back to the youtube days is how i started and it's fun and i guess we got a bit of a taste of that at the brit awards actually with you and james right, right, right. that was a really cool performance and when i uh, on tour too i pull out my guitar yeah. yeah and when it comes to acoustic albums i'm going to try and play d again oh gonna play i was going to try and, i was going to try and steal it from you again oh, oh. Right, you want to ask some more questions Right, I'm trying to ask you some more questions. I wouldn't questions. ask questions, why? Whilst I'm why trying to steal this you? ball from you. Would you ever bring out another acoustic album? Uh... <laughs> I let him it's get lit. that one. I let him get that one. I let him get that one. But to answer the question, would you ever bring out another acoustic record? I think so. Yeah? Yeah. Are you thinking about stuff beyond purpose at the moment? Um, as far as... Just, just recording. I mean, do you record when you're on? The, <laughs> do you record when you're on the road? Uh, sometimes when yeah. I get the itch and stuff, when I feel inspired. But you mainly just kind of tour, tour, tour. Well, touring is pretty grueling as it is, mm -hmm. and focusing on that I think is is the important thing. And Keeping making sure I'm health, making sure I'm healthy, <laughs> making sure my mind is right. Uh huh. I think the creative process is such a different. It's your mind has to be in a totally different mode. And so I don't think it's really good, for me at least, to mm -hmm. be in that mode when I'm on tour, because I got enough going on in this brain as it is. So. Yeah. And I guess obviously it's always nice that it's always nice to come back home <laughs> and shoot hoop. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try one more time. Let's go. OK. Right. Go, 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 go. Uh. Oh. Basically, I'm failing on purpose to make Justin look really, really good. And he's just doing that just just because he's Justin Bieber. This is, this is the best, this is the best shot. Okay, go on then. Uh, the, the net was over here more before, but I'm gonna try. It's not gonna happen, not today. Do you wanna give it one more go? One more go? Yeah, go on then. Third time charm? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Not today, boys. Not today. It's all good. It's still lit. Give me a hug. Good job. Good job. Thanks very much. I appreciate nice. that. Okay, then. Thank you for playing ball with me. No worries. Thank you for uh, letting me win. Yeah. Um, but I'll see you in a few hours. And then, yeah, hence the studios. It is That's on sure. your first profit official Radio 1 Live Lounge. Let's go. Let's do it.